Hello everybody, this is Avarice and welcome back to Let's Play Game of Thrones, Episode 2. Now, we are at the wall, finally! I was waiting to see what happened to this guy, who so far is the most likable character in my opinion. And now he ended up in one of the worst places in the entire universe. Well, Game of Thrones universe, the wall. So, let's see what happens. Got some guys right, practicing. Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. Is that unusual? To show up on a horse? It's like 2,000 miles away from nowhere. You should be able to walk. Of course. Why is it the shoulder bumps like the universal F U to the new guy? Looks like it was built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. What kind of look is that? I, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Frostfinger, he's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? Can you give me a that grizzled old good question over there? Says us new recruits are all dead men, but don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. I'm... <laughs> That's always unfortunate in the Westeros to be a nice guy. Ah, oh, see, look at the sparring guys. You fight like a girl. A woggling girl, maybe. I'm not sure that's an insult or not. I'll teach him. I'll teach him by moving back and forward in the same motion we've had the last seven times. All right, that's enough of that. Uh, what we got down here? Barrels. What's in these barrels? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall, and it'll burn the wild things down to their fucking bones. Pleasant. Can I use it? Huh. It's warm. Well, that was pointless. Okay. Like, uh, you, you stare. I can't just go up. Come. Anything you can do to prolong this a bit. That's, that's my, the only downside to these games. All the quick time events and, like, meaningless. Click here to use stairs. Your frost type of stuff. You recruits. You come, you train, you fight, you die. That's kind of how it works. Boy. I'll just say my name. Garrett Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Garrett Tuttle of Ironrath. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. Or do you just fancy dying someplace cold? I killed a man who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? You can tell that? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan oh, Oaks Forest. Oh, good. Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Mm, not really. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. If you say so. I do. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Right to the business, oh, these guys. Total. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Well, yeah, it's an order that you can't leave until you die, so... Pretty much. King's Landing, King's Landing! Ah, oh, alright. we'd heard Asher was in Slaver's Bay, 
So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... They give us month-old bread. Gah, there's fucking worms in it. The Lord Whitehill is about this. We should just take what we need. I'd rather die. The Whitehill soldiers always die. seem to be angry, and we have too few men to handle them. Hmm, let's just get to the Great Hall. Now we have to slowly walk forward. You know what else? No fucking wine. Okay. I do like these games, but the it's crap like this that makes the games take like two and a half like or three hours. He has All this no artificial lightning. Lord Whitehill will bring down the hammer. And the axe. Aye, the axe. Better fo- Is that him? You do get those little bits of exposition, that's but that's about it. Doesn't it? He's hideous. He's a bloody cripple. And he's leaning on a girl. You should have buried him with the corpses. Had a run-in with Waldo Frey, did cursed. you? cursed. But who gives a toss? Don't let go of your sister Real shame now. about you your You jerks were there. Let's see how well you did. Dear God, these people got no mercy. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. Oh. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable. Be polite you. first. And I don't think you're gonna make me. Big on a half dead guy with a broken leg and a busted arm. Big man. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house? Move! Now! I tried to be nice. Madness. You can't starve I them will out. not coddle our enemies. So you'd rather Whoa. they riot? Both of you, please. If they riot, we'll fight. That's foolishness. It doesn't matter what you think. It's my decision as Sentinel. My lords. He's got a point. Roderick. My boy. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. There really wasn't a whole lot of time for that. It's good... <clears throat> it's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I told you he'd be uh, up and about. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim. No thanks to your sentinel. He's riling up the Whitehill soldiers. They're our bloody enemies. You'll bring Lord Whitehill down on us, you They're fool. They're a-holes. Please, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay stole. Ethan made it clear I wasn't wanted. He needed you there. Now he's dead and Ryan's a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. Because we have no bloody army. Silence. I am your lord. You're here to give counsel, not to quarrel at my table. Of course. Apologies, my lord. 
The Whitetails have my brother. We there fight we amongst go. ourselves when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Hmm. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glover uh, since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Halsey's Helleva, Grayson, and Brown Barrow were all slaughtered at the Twins, and the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Bravely so. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? Convenient. She's coming now. He's barely recovered. Why is she coming here? She means to pay her respects to your father. But it could also be a chance to solidify our arrangement. If she Double still convenience. wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes. This marriage win, win, win. Would be a chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. Talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. I'm certain I can convince her. She's always been fond of you. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Give them wine. Let's get them drunk. I want them dull, not angry. Yes, my lord. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, if we starve them, they could retaliate. It's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. I'm Welcome back, my sure that has significance we all know about. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him and Ethan. How is your song coming? Been a rough month. Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. You're a fine musician, Talia. You'll do a great job. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena. I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells uh -oh. have much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. It's possible. Now to King's Landing. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell orphanage. them we'll send all the leftovers. Oh. And mm, something nice after that. That's vague. Lady Marjorie intends to visit again very soon. Lovely. They'll be pleased to hear that. Ties you in the TV it. show. There's a nice little Here bit about that. Oh, good thing they didn't steal up the first episode. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the curse of things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. Not a fan, I take it. This is that boy again? I have a letter from yep. Lady Mira Forrester. 
Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. Poor, poor what bastard. Is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold well, woman. Duh. Most would shy away from asking such things. Pay no mind to her. She asks too much. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But, but it wouldn't be very discreet. You'd be forcing their hand. Mira, you have been so patient, so loyal. Your loyalty will not go unrewarded. I'm seeing Grandmother today. She'll have some ideas about your brother's predicament. I'm sure she can help. She's subtle, but very effective. Thank you, my lady. She's I'd also quite going. vulgar and direct, but I like Mira, her. Mira, we'll talk more later. This is not church like wrote a letter. Another option to forge something. That's that can't possibly end well. I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited. Mira. Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard. <sighs> The man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. This music is not going to end... This music's really ominous for this. Go ahead, then. Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with those? I've got them. So what was the point of the event then? She's just gonna say forget about it. And it's like four minutes cut to work well on the TV show, but it's really distracting for a video game. They say it'll be a short autumn. Oi, fuckhead. You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. Ignore. Fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speech. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected Don't care. Years ago. Hey, it's an option. Cool. No. And I don't care. You should. Had this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordly. He tried to stick me with this. There are 19 castles stationed along the wall, but only cool blade. I was stuck in him instead. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what dire crime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? Hmm. Potatoes? What are you talking about? I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. 
Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the Potato Thief. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Let me tell you my story. Well, I got sent here. Who in seven hells is talking back there? Tuttle, who was it? It was my fault. Take the blame. Sorry, sir, it was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who can you handle well quick time events might just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. I need a word. Go on, get started. I'm not going to comment on that. Best of luck, Tuttle. D bag. Here we go. Again. Who's up? See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. Hmm. They're talking. Do I get to pick what I want to do? Archery, sword. Let's look up first. Castle Black. So this is home now. I'll pet my horse. I like my horse. Where is that my horse? I can't tell. I hope it is. Use the practice dummies. I'm doing that all wrong. Have these where I. <laughs> Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. Alright, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's arse. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Alright. Simple let's enough. Start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt. Left target, head. Good. Right target, chest. Not bad. Center between the eyes. Well, there aren't any eyes on here, so it'd be kind of difficult, but it would be right about. Um, not here. One less wildling. Yeah, all of them. Nicely done. The last one was actually kind of difficult, but I don't think, as long as you get the general area, it'll still land. And Snow's leaving? Okay. Go check on his foot. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took these. Swiped it right. That was. Don't tell, alright? I don't think he'd take it kindly. Hmm. You should give it back give to him. Give it back to him, Cotter. Are you mad? That's the last thing I'll do. Follow the sword. There we go. Practice rack. 
Did I get a pick? You, grab a practice sword. Oh, I do. Um, this one should. Oh, let's go this one. I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Yeah, I'll still hurt like hell. Wake up! I'm trying as well as crap at me. Four. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. Can I spar him? Can I talk to him? I mean... I could go look at the logs. Training seems rougher here than I am. I could look at the logs, but I think this is a good spot to end this one before I do the next uh, training. So I'm going to end it right here. We'll pick it right up. <laughs> I do need to work on my outros. <laughs> we'll pick it up the next episode right here. Complete the training, and we'll go from there. So I will see you in the next video. Later.